The University of Utah also referred to as the U of U, UOFU, or simply the U is a public research university in Salt Lake City, Utah, United States. As the state's flagship university, it offers more than 100 undergraduate majors and more than 92 graduate degree programs. The university is classified among doctoral universities, very high research activity, with selective, higher transfer in admissions. Graduate studies include the S.J. Quinney College of Law and the School of Medicine, Utah's first medical school. As of fall 2015, there are 23,909 undergraduate students and 7,764 graduate students, for an enrollment total of 31,673. The university was established in 1850 as the University of Deseret Listen by the General Assembly of the Provisional State of Deseret, making it Utah's oldest institution of higher education. It received its current name in 1892, four years before Utah attained statehood, and moved to its current location in 1900. The university ranks 61st among U.S. universities by total research expenditures with over $380 million spent in 2017. 22 Rhodes Scholars, 4 Nobel Prize winners, 2 Turing Award winners, 8 MacArthur Fellows, various Pulitzer Prize winners, 2 astronauts, Gates Cambridge Scholars, and Churchill Scholars have been affiliated with the university as students, researchers, or faculty members in its history. In addition, the university's Honors College has been reviewed among 100 leading national honors colleges in the U.S. The university's athletic teams, the Utes, participate in NCAA Division I Athletics FBS for football as a member of the Pac-12 Conference. Its football team has received national attention for winning the 2005 Fiesta Bowl and the 2009 Sugar Bowl. History Soon after the Mormon pioneers arrived in the Salt Lake Valley in 1847, Brigham Young began organizing a board of regents to establish a university. The university was established on February 28, 1850, as the University of Deseret by the General Assembly of the Provisional State of Deseret, and Orson Spencer was appointed as the first chancellor of the university. Early classes were held in private homes or wherever space could be found. The university closed in 1853 due to lack of funds and lack of feeder schools. Following years of intermittent classes in the Salt Lake City Council House, the university began to be re-established in 1867 under the direction of David O. Calder, who was followed by John R. Park in 1869. The university moved out of the Council House into the Union Academy building in 1876 and into Union Square in 1884. In 1892, the school's name was changed to the University of Utah, and John R. Park began arranging to obtain land belonging to the U.S. Army's Fort Douglas on the east bench of the Salt Lake Valley, where the university moved permanently in 1900. Additional Fort Douglas land has been granted to the university over the years, and the fort was officially closed on October 26, 1991. Upon his death in 1900, Dr. John R. Park bequeathed his entire fortune to the university. 
The university grew rapidly in the early 20th century but was involved in an academic freedom controversy in 1915 when Joseph T. Kingsbury recommended that five faculty members be dismissed after a graduation speaker made a speech critical of Utah Governor William Spry. One third of the faculty resigned in protest of these dismissals. Some felt that the dismissals were a result of the LDS Church's influence on the university, while others felt that they reflected a more general pattern of repressing religious and political expression that might be deemed offensive. The controversy was largely resolved when Kingsbury resigned in 1916, but university operations were again interrupted by World War I, and later the Great Depression and World War II. Student enrollment dropped to a low of 3,418 during the last year of World War II, but A. Ray Olpin made substantial additions to campus following the war, and enrollment reached 12,000 by the time he retired in. In 1964. Growth continued in the following decades as the university developed into a research center for fields such as computer science and medicine. During the 2002 Winter Olympics, the university hosted the Olympic Village, a housing complex for the Olympic and Paralympic athletes, as well as the opening and closing ceremonies. Prior to the events, the university received a facelift that included extensive renovations to the Rice-Eccles Stadium, a light rail track leading to downtown Salt Lake City, a new student center known as the Heritage Center, an array of new student housing, and what is now a 180-room campus hotel and conference center. The University of Utah Asia campus opened as an international branch campus in the Incheon Global Campus in Songdu, Incheon, South Korea in 2014. Three other European and American universities are also participating. The Asia Campus was funded by the South Korean government. Topic campus Campus takes up 1,534 acres 6.21 square kilometers, including the Health Sciences Complex, Research Park, and Fort Douglas. It is located on the east bench of the Salt Lake Valley, close to the Wasatch Range and approximately two miles east of downtown Salt Lake City. Most courses take place on the west side of campus, known as Lower Campus due to its lower elevation. President's Circle is a loop of buildings named after past university presidents with a courtyard in the center. Major libraries on Lower Campus include the J. Willard Marriott Library and the S. J. Quinney Law Library. The primary student activity center is the A. Ray Olpin University Union, and campus fitness centers include the Health, Physical Education, and Recreation Complex and the Nielsen Fieldhouse. Lower Campus is also home to most public venues, such as the Rice-Eccles Stadium, the John M. Huntsman Center, and the Utah Museum of Fine Arts, a museum with rotating exhibitions and a permanent collection of American, European, African, and Asian art. Venues for performing arts include Kingsbury Hall, used for touring companies and concerts, Pioneer Memorial Theater, used by the professional Pioneer Theater Company, David P. Gardner Hall, used by the School of Music and for musical performances, and the Marriott Center for Dance. Red Butte Garden, with formal gardens and natural areas, as well as the new site of the Utah Museum of Natural History, is located on the far east side of campus. The Health Sciences Complex, at the northeast end of campus, includes the University of Utah Medical Center, Primary Children's Medical Center, the Huntsman Cancer Institute, the Moran Eye Center, and the Spencer S. Eccles Health Sciences Library. 
South of the Health Sciences Complex, several university residence halls and apartments are clustered together near Fort Douglas and the Heritage Center, which serves as a student center and cafeteria for this area. In addition, there are 1,115 university apartments for students, staff, and faculty across three apartment complexes on campus. At the southeast end of campus is Research Park, which is home to research companies including Arup Laboratories, Evans & Sutherland, Sarcos, Idaho Technology, and Myriad Genetics. Courses are also held at off-campus centers located in St. George and Sandy. In July 2017, the Academic Senate bestowed the designation of tobacco-free campus on the university, but rules were not enforced until 2018. The rule prohibits students and faculty from smoking or using chewing tobacco, electronic cigarettes and all other recreational nicotine delivery products on any property owned, leased or controlled by the University of Utah. <laughs> <laughs> student residences The University of Utah provides student housing in a 33-building housing complex on campus. The complex consists of eight housing areas, Chapel Glen, Gateway Heights, Sage Point, Officers Circle, Benchmark Plaza, Shoreline Ridge, the Donna Garth Marriott Honors Residential Scholars Community MHC for short, and the Lasson Studios. The MHC is a dormitory strictly for honors students and was completed in fall 2012. Built in 2016, the Lasson Studios is part of the Lasson Entrepreneur Institute and houses 400 students. The studios also feature a creative garage with 3D printers and spaces for startups. Topic: Transportation. A number of campus shuttles, running on biodiesel and used vegetable oil, circle the campus on six different routes. The Utah Transit Authority (UTA) runs several buses through the university area, as well as the Tracks Red Line (light rail), which runs to South Jordan. Riders can travel downtown, to Frontrunner commuter rail, to West Valley, to the Salt Lake City International Airport, or to Sandy by transferring to the track's green or blue lines. Students and staff can use the university IDs to ride UTA buses, tracks, and Frontrunner. The university has recently unveiled a new plan for a friendlier campus for bicyclers called the Bicycle Master Plan, which aims to transform the campus into a safer and more accessible place for bicyclers and to promote the increase of bicycle ridership. The plan emphasizes both campus pathways and on street facilities that connect the core campus area with surrounding neighborhoods. The Bicycle Master Plan gives guidelines for facilities and programs that are within the university's jurisdiction. It also provides recommendations for the university to work with external entities such as UDOT, UTA, and Salt Lake City to improve bicycling conditions in locations that are important to the campus environment, but which are not under the university's direct control. Topic: Sustainability. The university is ranked third by the EPA for annual green power usage among universities, with 31% of its power coming from wind and solar sources. 
Other sustainability efforts include a permanent sustainability office, a campus cogeneration plant, building upgrades and energy efficient building standards, behavior modification programs, purchasing local produce, and student groups, as well as a branch of the Salt Lake City Bicycle Collective. Sustainability and transportation are also a large part of the university's campus master plan. The Sustainable Endowments Institute gave the university a B+ in its College Sustainability Report Card 2011, with A's for climate change and energy, food and recycling, student involvement, and transportation, the expanded recycling program launched on July 1, 2007. Since its launch, the program has continued to grow and refine its procedures to better accommodate a growing campus needs. Currently there are programs in place for paper, cardboard, aluminum, batteries, glass, printer cartridges, wooden pallets and plastics number no. 1 and number no. 2. Topic: <inaudible> Renewable energy. On July 7, 2011 the university unveiled its plans to be the first location in the United States to install solar ivy. Unlike rooftop panels, solar ivy panels are small and shaped like ivy so that they can be installed in an attractive arrangement that will scale walls, much like ivy growing over a building's surface. These panels were designed by Sustainably Minded Interactive Technology of New York. A renewable energy partnership was entered into by the university, Rocky Mountain Power and Three Degrees on September 28, 2011, allowing the purchase of renewable wind power that in its first year will produce 98,233,000 kilowatt hours of wind energy, which is 36% of the university's total power usage, with plans for an additional two-year renewable energy commitment. The university's first-year renewable energy purchase through Blue Sky and Three Degrees has the combined environmental benefit of taking more than 13,200 cars off the road for one year or planting 1.7 million trees. The university's support for renewable energy is made possible through a student fee-funded sustainability program established in 2005. The university unveiled the addition of a new solar array system on April 16, 2012, on the rooftop of the Natural History Museum of Utah. This is the second system installed on the university's campus, the other being at the HPER East Building. The Natural History Museum of Utah's system is a 330-kilowatt system, while the HPER East system is a 263-kilowatt system. The combined arrays consist of 2,470 sharp photovoltaic panels covering 40,000 square feet of rooftop space and together they will annually produce 802,240 kilowatt hours. Topic: <laughs> Organization The University of Utah is governed by a 10-member board of trustees, eight of whom are appointed by the Governor of Utah with the consent of the Utah Senate. The President of the University of Utah Alumni Association serves as the ninth member, and the President of the Associated Students of the University of Utah serves as the tenth member. The eight appointed members serve for four-year terms, four expiring on June 30 of each odd-numbered year. The two ex officio members serve for the terms of their respective offices. Subject to the Board of Trustees, the university faculty have authority to legislate on matters of educational policy via the Academic Senate. 
The Senate is composed of 100 faculty members proportionally representing and elected by their respective colleges, two elected deans, and 18 students from the ASUU, one from each college and the ASUU president. The Senate also includes the University President, Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Senior Vice President for Health Sciences, and all non-elected deans as ex officio members who may debate and present motions but do not vote. Much of the actual Senate work is carried out by 12 Senate elected committees which work on the central academic issues of the institution. The committees report to the full Senate and the Senate often acts on their proposals as well as on issues brought to its attention by the administration. Academics <laughs> 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 The University of Utah is a public flagship four-year research university accredited through the Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities since 1933. The U organizes its 150 academic departments and programs into 17 colleges and schools. The university operates on a semester calendar with the rest of the Utah higher education system. Undergraduate tuition and fees for 2015-2016 were $8,240 for Utah residents about 325% the cost of tuition and fees in 2000, $2,534 for 13 credit hours per semester, two semesters, and $26,180 for non-residents per 12 credit hour semester. Topic: Admissions and Demographics For the class of 2020, enrolling full 2016, Utah received 14,308 applications and accepted 10,934, 76.4%, with 3,601 enrolling. The middle 50% range of SAT scores for enrolling freshmen was 520 to 640 for critical reading, 530 to 660 for math, and 500 to 620 for writing. The middle 50% ACT composite score range was 21 to 27, 20 to 27 for math and 21 to 28 for English. The average high school grade point average GPA was 3.61. The university uses a holistic admissions process and weighs ACT, SAT standardized test scores, GPA, grade trend, rigorous app, IB, honors classes taken in high school, academic achievements, along with other personal achievements and characteristics. In fall 2015, the undergraduate and graduate student body was 31,551, with 23,794 undergraduate students and 7,757 graduate students. 73% of students were full time, 56% were male, and 44% female, and 82% were Utah residents. The undergraduate student body was 69% white, 11% Hispanic, 6% non-resident alien, 5% Asian, 4% two or more races, 1% native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 1% black, and 1% Native American. Ethnicity or citizenship was unknown for 2%. Topic: Notable programs. Ballet. The Department of Ballet offers the top-ranked ballet and ballroom dance program in the United States and is one of the oldest and most reputable university ballet departments in the country. 
The department was founded by William F. Christensen in 1951, who also founded the San Francisco Ballet and Ballet West companies. Biologithe University has made unique contributions to the study of genetics due in part to long-term genealogy efforts of the LDS Church, which has allowed researchers to trace genetic disorders through several generations. The relative homogeneity of Utah's population also makes it an ideal laboratory for studies of population genetics. The university is home to the Genetic Science Learning Center, a resource which educates the public about genetics through its website. Dentistry in March 2012, the university received unanimous approval from the Board of Trustees to create a new academic college, the School of Dentistry, which is the university's first new college in 60 years. The new school has received funding for a new structure and has started as a debt-free program. The new school enrolled its first students for the fall semester of 2013 and averages the same cost as the university's medical school tuition. Computer Science the University of Utah was one of the original four nodes of ARPANET, the world's first packet-switching computer network and embryo of the current worldwide Internet. The School of Computing produced many of the early pioneers in computer science and graphics, including Turing Award winner Alan Kay, Pixar founder Ed Catmull, Atari founder Nolan Bushnell, and Adobe founder John Warnick. Notable innovations of computer science faculty and alumni include the first method for representing surface textures in graphical images, the Gouraud shading model, magnetic ink printing technology, the Johnson counter logic circuit, the oldest algebraic mathematics package still in use, reduce, the Fong reflection model, the Fong shading method, and the rendering equation. Through the movement of Utah graduates and faculty, research at the university spread outward to laboratories like Xerox Park, JPL, and the New York Institute of Technology. Present graphics research is focused on biomedical applications for visualization, scientific computing, and image analysis at the Scientific Computing and Imaging Institute. Law. The S.J. Quinney College of Law, founded in 1913, was the only law school in Utah until the 1970s. Medicinth University of Utah has the only accredited allopathic medical school in the state of Utah. The medical school has made several notable contributions to medicine, such as establishing the first cerebrovascular disease unit west of the Mississippi River in 1970 and administering the world's first permanent artificial heart, the JARVIK-7, to Barney Clark in 1982. Pharmacologith University of Utah College of Pharmacy is fourth in the nation for NIH research grants. The Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology within the School of Pharmacy is world-renowned for research in epilepsy treatment with their Anticonvulsant Drug Development program. Political Science The university is host to the Neil A. Maxwell Lecture Series in Political Theory and Contemporary Politics, a forum for political theorists to share their newest theoretical work, and is home to the Hinckley Institute of Politics, which places more than 350 students every year in local, state, national, and global internships. Topic athletics The university has eight men's and eleven women's varsity teams. Athletic teams include men's baseball, basketball, football, golf, lacrosse, skiing, swimming, diving, and tennis and women's basketball, cross country, gymnastics, skiing, soccer, softball, swimming, diving, tennis, track and field, and volleyball. 
The school's sports teams are called the Utes, though some teams have an additional nickname, such as Runnin' Utes for the men's basketball team. The university participates in the NCAA's Division I FBS for football as part of the Pac-12 Conference. When they were in the same conference, there was a fierce BYU-Utah rivalry, and the Utah-BYU football game, traditionally the season finale, has been called the «Holy War» by national broadcasting commentators. The university fight song is «Utah Man», commonly played at athletic games and other university events. In 1996, Swoop was introduced as the new mascot of the University of Utah. Because of relationships with the local Ute Indians, Utah adopted a new mascot. While still known as the Utes, Utah is now represented by the red-tailed hawk known for the use of his tail feathers in Ute headdresses, and said he reflects the soaring spirit of our state and school. In 2002, the university was one of 20 schools to make the U.S. News and World Report college sports on a roll. In 2005, Utah became the first school to produce number one overall draft picks in both the NFL draft and NBA draft for the same year. Alex Smith was picked first overall by the San Francisco 49ers in the 2005 NFL draft, and Andrew Bogut was picked first overall by the Milwaukee Bucks in the 2005 NBA draft. The university has won 10 NCAA skiing championships, most recently in 2017, as well as the 1977 AIAW National Women's Skiing Championship. <laughs> Men's basketball The men's basketball team won the NCAA title in 1944 and the NIT crown in 1947. Arnie Ferran, the only four-time All-American in Utah basketball history, played for both the 1944 and 1947 teams. He also went on to help the Minneapolis Lakers win NBA championships in 1949 and 1951. Wart Masaka, the first person of Asian descent to play in the NBA, also played for Utah during this era. Utah basketball rose again to national prominence when head coach Rick Majerus took his team, including guard Andre Miller, combo forward Hanno Mottola, and post player Michael Doliak, to the NCAA Final Four in 1998. After eliminating North Carolina to advance to the final round, Utah lost the championship game to Kentucky, 78–69. Topic: Football. In 2004-2005, the football team, coached by Urban Meyer and quarterbacked by Alex Smith, along with defensive great Eric Weddle, went 11-0 during the regular season and defeated Pittsburgh 35-7 in the 2005 Fiesta Bowl, becoming the first team from a conference without an automatic bowl championship series (BCS) bid to go to a BCS bowl game. The team ended its perfect 12-0 season ranked fourth in app polling. 2008 minus 2009 was another undefeated year for the football team, coached by Kyle Whittingham, as they finished the season 13-0 and defeated Alabama 31-17 in the 2009 Sugar Bowl. Utah finished the season second in app polling, their highest rank ever. At the end of the season, the Utes were the only unbeaten team in the country, with the nation's longest active streak of bowl victories eight, the Utah Utes moved to the Pac-12 Conference for the start of the 2011-2012 football season. 
They are in the South Division with University of Colorado, University of Arizona, Arizona State University, UCLA and University of Southern California. Their first game in the Pac-12 was at USC on September 10, 2011, and resulted in a 23–14 Utah loss. Gymnastics The women's gymnastics team, coached by Megan Marsden, has won 10 national championships, including the 1981 AIAW Championship, and placed second nationally eight times. As of 2013, it has qualified for the NCAA Championship every year since 1976, the only program to do so. The program has averaged over 11,000 fans per meet 1992–2010 and has been the NCAA Gymnastics Season Attendance Champions 16 of these 19 years. In 2010, there was an average of 14,213 fans per meet, the largest crowd being 15,030. Topic: Marching Band. The University Marching Band, known as the Pride of Utah, perform at all home football games, as well as some away games and bowl games. They performed at the 2005 BCS Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, the 2009 BCS All-State Sugar Bowl, and the inaugural parade of President Barack Obama. The band began as a military band in the 1940s. In 1948, university president A. Ray Olpin recruited Ron Gregory from Ohio State University to form a collegiate marching band. Support for the band dwindled in the 60s, and ASUU the Associated Students of the University of Utah discontinued its funding in 1969. The band was revived in 1976 after a fund-raising effort, under the direction of Greg I. Hansen. As of 2011, the band is under the direction of Dr. Brian Sproul. Topic: Student life. Close to 50% of freshmen live on campus, but most students choose to live elsewhere after their first year, with 13% of all undergraduates living on campus. The university is located in a large metropolitan area, but many students live in the neighborhoods immediately surrounding the university. An additional 1,115 family apartments are available to students, staff, and faculty. One of the university's primary four goals for long-term campus growth is to increase student engagement through the addition of on-campus housing, intramural fields, athletic centers, and a new student activity center. The current student activity center, the A. Ray Olpin University Union, is a common gathering place for university-wide events such as Crimson Nights, roughly monthly student activity nights, plaza Fest, a fair for campus groups at the start of the school year, and the Grand Kerfuffle, a concert at the end of the school year. The building includes a cafeteria, computer lab, recreational facilities, and a ballroom for special events. The union also houses the Lowell Benyon Community Service Center, CESA Center for Ethnic Student Affairs which provides an inclusive space for students and houses various advising programs of the Office of Equity and Diversity, the Union Programming Council which is in charge of promoting student life on campus through events like Crimson Nights, and ASUU the Associated Students of the University of Utah, which is responsible for appropriating funds to student groups and organizations on campus. 
ASUU holds primary and general elections each year for student representatives, typically with 10–15% of the student population voting. Due to the large number of LDS church members at the university, there is an LDS Institute of Religion building near main campus, as well as several LDS student groups and 46 campus wards. Approximately 650 students are part of six sororities and eight fraternities at the university, most of which have chapter houses on Greek Row. Just off campus, the University of Utah has a dry campus, meaning that alcohol is banned on campus. In 2004, Utah became the first state with a law expressly permitting concealed weapons on public university campuses. The University of Utah tried to uphold its gun ban but the Utah Supreme Court rejected the ban in 2006. Media. The university has several public broadcasting affiliations, many of which utilize the Eccles Broadcast Center. These stations include KUED Channel 7, a PBS member station and producer of local documentaries, KUEN Channel 9, an educational station for teachers and students from the Utah Education Network, KUER 90.1 FM, a public radio affiliate of National Public Radio, American Public Media, and Public Radio International, and KUTE 1620. Newsbreak is the student-run television newscast on campus. During 2011, the program celebrated its 40th anniversary. Broadcasts air every Thursday night at 10 p.m. during the fall and spring semesters on KUEN. The Daily Utah Chronicle, also referred to as the Crony, has been the university's independent, student-run paper since 1890. It publishes daily on school days during fall and spring semesters and weekly during summer semester. The paper typically runs between 8 and 12 pages, with longer editions for weekend game guides. The paper converted to a broadsheet format in 2003 when the Newspaper Agency Corporation began printing it. The Society of Professional Journalists selected the newspaper as one of three finalists for Best All-Around Daily Student Newspaper in the Nation in both 2007 and 2008. Staff from the Chronicle feed into Utah journalism circles, some of them rising to considerable prominence, such as former editor Matt Canham, whose work with the Salt Lake Tribune earned him the Don Baker Investigative Reporting Award from the Utah Chapter of the Society of Professional Journalists, the University of Utah Press, the oldest press in Utah and now part of the J. Willard Marriott Library, publishes books on topics including the outdoors, anthropology and archaeology, linguistics, creative nonfiction, Mesoamerica, Native American studies, and Utah, Mormon, and Western history. The university is also home to a national literary journal, Quarterly West. Topic notable alumni and faculty Notable alumni include politicians Rocky Anderson, Bob Bennett, E. Jake Garn, John Huntsman Jr., Karen Morgan, Frank E. Moss, and Carl Rove, recent LDS Church presidents Gordon B. Hinckley and Thomas S. Monson, historian and Pulitzer Prize for History laureate Laurel Thatcher Ulrich, authors Orson Scott Card, Stephen Covey, Terry Tempest Williams, and Wallace 
Stegner, R. Adams Cowley, William Devries, Russell M. Nelson, and Robert Jarvik in medicine, historian Richard Fultz, educators Gordon Gee and Anne Weaver Hart, reporter Martha Radatz, and speed reading innovator Evelyn Nielsen Wood. Notable science and engineering alumni include Jim Blinn, Mark W. Fuller, CEO of Wet Design, Jim Clark, founder of Silicon Graphics, Netscape Communications Corporation, MYCFO, and Healthion, Gretchen W. McLean, former NASA Deputy Associate Administrator of Human Space Exploration and Chief Director of the International Space Station, Henry Gouraud, John C. Cook who played a crucial role in establishing the field of ground-penetrating radar, Ralph Hartley, rocket scientist Joseph Majdalani, Alan Kay, Simon Rameau, and John Warnick, co-founder of Adobe Systems. Notable entrepreneur and business leader alumni include Alan Ashton, co-founder of WordPerfect and Thanksgiving Point, freestyle skier Tom Wallish, Nolan Bushnell, founder of Atari and Chuck E. Cheese, Ed Catmull, co-founder of Pixar, J. Willard Marriott, founder of Marriott International, Robert A. Bob McDonald, CEO of Procter & Gamble, David Naylorman, founder of JetBlue, and Tel Whitney, CEO and president of the Anita Borg Institute in Athletics. Notable alumni include baseball player Chris Shelton, basketball players Andrew Bogut, Andre Miller and Keith Van Horn, football players Paul Kruger, star Lotalele, Jamal Anderson, Kevin Dyson, Eric Weddell, Alex Smith, and Steve Smith Sr., Hall of Fame Karate Grandmaster Dan Housel, and football coach Lavelle Edwards. Notable faculty in science and engineering include David Evans and Ivan Sutherland, founders of Evans and Sutherland, Bui Tuing Fong, pioneer of computer graphics, Henry Eyring, known for studying chemical reaction rates, Stephen Jacobson, founder of Sarkos, Jindrik Kopacek and Sung Won Kim, pioneers of polymeric drug delivery and gene delivery, Suhas Patil, founder of Cirrus Logic, Stanley Pons, who claimed to have discovered cold fusion in 1989, Venkatraman Ramakrishnan, later co-winner of the 2009 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, and Thomas Stockham, founder of Soundstream. In medicine, notable faculty include Mario Capecchi, the co-winner of the 2007 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, Willem Johan Kolff, and Russell M. Nelson. Biologist Ralph Vary Chamberlain, founding dean of the medical school, professor, and later historian of the university, was also an alumnus. <laughs> 